Uh, that is the new oil. Information is really important. We are all aware of that, but we don't use the data as much as needed. So we kind of uh, use it in a reactive manner. But the most important thing that we should do is like the advanced analytics of our data and, and we should put that into our decision making models. So that's what we have been doing for the past couple of years. Hello, my name is Lakshmi Ajay. I'm an associate editor with Stack Media. And today I'm in conversation with Mr. Usman Nuri Ustabas. He's a manager of cargo, business development and innovation at Turkish Cargo. Hi Usman, welcome to this conversation. Hi Lakshmi, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I wanted to start off by asking you that you lead a team responsible for managing large software projects for Turkish Cargo. What would you say are the three biggest IT innovations that have spurred maximum efficiency for the company? Do share data and examples if possible. The first thing I would say, perhaps in digital marketplaces, because you know, the first thing we do in our job is to get reservations and then our bookings, and then it continues with the operations, etc. And it was one of the most troublesome and time-taking activities. Uh, prior to digitalization of the sales channels. So obviously we had our own portals initially and then digital marketplaces came into the picture, which was a great help to the whole industry because it's much easier, much faster for our customers. It's not a massive major difference for us since we had our portals, but for customers it's much better and a much easier way to book with, with any carrier they would like to. And in our case, since we have competitive price and also we have great operation capabilities. It was good for us to be able to show ourselves within the, with our competitors, especially in terms of flights, because we have a great network. Actually, we are flying to the most countries in the world and with frequent flights, so we had a great network. We had great advantages there as well, so we could show ourselves within those marketplaces. And it really expedited the whole booking process. So yeah, it's obviously hard to calculate but according to our calculations, it's almost 95% more efficient doing the bookings through those marketplaces, digital channels. So that helped a lot. Uh, so I would say that could be one of the greatest innovations and additions to our industry. And what we did is we created a generic API in our case. So we did very easily connect with all of those marketplaces, also with our customers. So which was very expedited the whole thing for us. And we went live more than 60 countries with all of the marketplaces. So we had like more than $100 million revenue, additional revenue, and we reached to too many customers that we did not before. These are usually SMEs and they have, so we could include them into our community and also in our portfolio, which is, which is also great for them as well. It's not just for us. So it's also kind of a fair kind of logistics. And secondly, one of the greatest innovations for us, always the smartest, our new hub. So we call it smartest because it's not just the warehouse, it's also technology warehouse. And in smartest, we have automated storage systems. So with that automated storage systems, we integrated work order system with our WMS system, which is a great addition to our operational efficiency, which increased a lot the efficiency because, you know, our industry is very prone to human error, obviously, because we have manual due to the structure of our like cargo, it's not like e-commerce cargo. We have very different and weird even dimensions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's, you have to manual labor and with manual labor, obviously some, not just errors, but the low utilization levels are coming with. So with work order integration, with automated storage systems, when you integrate it together, you build the quality in your hub operations very much. So it's, it's a great, it was a great advantage and innovation for us. So we have seen huge benefits out, out of it. Also, thirdly, I would say uh, RPA system. It's, it's not a new technology. It's an easier and quicker way to integrate, just uh, get rid of mundane tasks. So we also utilize that a lot. Uh, we have more than 10 robots and we have more than again 30 processes like main processes we took it over from our people our workforce and metal color like metal color we call it metal color rpa robots took over those responsibilities so which means you again you take it like mundane task repetitive task nobody's interested in that are these cargo tasks yeah cargo tasks like that you do in front of your computer obviously because it's rpa it needs to have a computer level task 
and then we took it from the people and then we accommodated them in more strategic decisions and more strategic working, which is good also for them and also for the company. So mundane tasks are now done by the RPA robots in over 30 processes. You, you look after innovation. So why is innovation and digitalization important for the air cargo sector? And what are some technologies like AI, VR, blockchain, etc. that the industry should embrace as quickly as possible according to you? You mentioned robotics, which is already being used. Yeah. yeah. I keep hearing from people saying that passenger IT for airlines, aviation is like 50 years ahead of cargo industry. Because, you know, cargo was always looked up because cargo businesses are part of passenger businesses, right? As Turkish Cargo, Turkish Airlines, we always knew the importance of uh, digitalization. We initiated all of our digitalization projects prior to the pandemic. And during the pandemic, everybody realized that it should be even expedited further. So and everybody is making their investments to technology for the air cargo logistics. So there are still uh, many things that we can do all together. Collaboration is one of the keywords that has been used within the in industry a lot. So many things we can do and achieve together with the, the logistics companies. And so one of them, obviously, we say blockchain and some sort of technologies are more similar technologies are more maybe applicable in the finance. But we also have a finance sort of sector within the industry. So it's important to utilize that. You mentioned the VR and virtual reality and augment. augmented reality. Yeah, so they have also some business cases, but it doesn't have to be, it's not like uh, we have to have them right away because we have other prioritizations first. For instance, related with data. So you said AI, we need to find ways to use AI and machine learning in order to utilize the massive data we have in our industry. As far as I see, we all say that data is really important. So that we all keep saying uh, data is the new oil. Information is really important. We are all aware of that, but we don't use the data as much as needed. So we kind of uh, use it in a reactive manner. But the most important thing that we should do is like the advanced analytics of our data and, and we should put that into our decision-making models. So that's what we have been doing for the past couple of years. Dynamic pricing also is one of the hot topics within the industry that not many players utilize as fully because it's, it's not just like passengers is very fragmented. It's, it's not comparable to the passenger side. It's, so it's a different game. And yeah, so as Turkish Cargo, we have also made investments in our RM system. So we built it in-house and also network modeling and optimization and another area that we can utilize data decision, data decisions and advanced analytics. So there, it has to be there as the earliest possible time for the whole industry. And you know, we are all interconnected and fragmented. We need to find ways to speak to each other with data so we are trying to provide that. You also look uh, after sustainability initiatives at, at uh, Turkish Cargo. What are some of the latest initiatives made by the company that have been deployed and how do you advance the sustainability agenda? So we had made a concrete plan with the mother company and we, we initiated and executing those plans. So the results are already here. They are it's easy to see the results because, you know, like companies, like independent rating companies such as Ecovedis. So we are silver medal awarded by the Ecovedis recently. So which is an increase from the bronze medal which we had initially. In the leading part of our sustainability is going to be SAF initiatives, obviously, because carbon offsetting is also something we are looking into, but it's not eliminating, it's just sort of offsetting, obviously, from the name. So we are more interested in SAF, and we also work with top universities in Turkey to create even better microalgae-based SAF studies. So it's going to even increase the decrease, obviously, the carbon emissions uh, with related with SAF. Uh, so we are going to invest heavily on that because we know we are aware of our part. We are going to do as much as we can. You've spent a decade at Turkish Cargo and implemented some small and big changes. What, according to you, some of the changes you've also seen the pandemic, right? What, according to you, are some of the changes in the industry that are irreversible and then that the industry cannot go back to as we move forward? Yeah, the transparency is increasing. I mentioned about the digital marketplaces, so everybody can see, especially the customers, not us, but customers, 
can see very easily and very quickly whatever we are offering. So since the integrations are going to increase between stakeholders, and it is increasing, and one, IATA's one record, also one of the great examples to that. So we have no other option to increase the collaboration, transparency, and data sharing with each other. So there's no going back from that. So what it will bring is also efficiency and speed to the industry. We will be able to increase that. And there will be no turning back from that. And also the use of AI, it's obviously that, right? So it's chat GPT, for instance, very popular at the moment. And we see the results. It's, that was something that we discussed only. We were saying that it's coming and it's going to be a game changer. So we should be prepared. And I think it was suddenly it came and we realized that it can achieve amazing things. Chat GPT, we have seen the results and we can easily say that, okay, this is applicable in our industries as well. So we have to do things about it. So advanced analysis should come into the play because we have massive data in our industry and we have many stakeholders and each stakeholder has massive data. So we say we need to increase the collaboration between each other. So we need to find ways to use, utilize that data. So we have started that and there will be no turning point from there. So we, we are going to use the data. So it's, it's definitely there. So also we mentioned like digital marketplaces, also digital payment models will be there. So there will be expedited, fastened integrations with third parties. Uh, so each and every process that has been taking quite a long time, for instance, like we said, booking processes, payment processes. So they are all going to be digitalized and they're going to take so less time. So there will be also no turning back from that. So yeah, whatever we implemented, there will be no turning back from that. So also I mentioned like RPA processes, whatever we put into our processes that has expedited the whole process, they will stay. Osman, I can't let you go without asking that, you know, e-commerce has sort of changed the course for the industry, right? A lot of processes changed for cargo because, uh, you know, e-commerce came in and it was a sweet spot during the pandemic. That's right. One vertical which grew a lot. So is there any processes in uh, Turkish cargo that uh, you had to, you know, change and mold to fit e-commerce needs? We knew that it was going to grow tremendously and it did even faster than that. So one thing that e-commerce brought to our industry is also kind of traceability because, you know, we are as, as part of this industry, we are also part of e-commerce because we do the shopping. We have to see where our cargo is at any moment, yeah, at all times. These users also requesting the same thing from us as well, from our industry as well. And our customers also expect the same from us now. So we are obviously B2B, but it's almost turning into B2C. So that's very crucial for us to have that information at all times. So that's e-commerce's effect on us. So we have to provide full and full track and trace and visibility. So we are trying to achieve that with the help of new technologies. So we are going to also, as Turkish Airlines, Turkish Cargo, we are going to implement that in our processes. So we will be able to track our ULDs and cargo instantly. And so we will be able to provide that information to our customers as well. Also, another thing I might add, as you said, the effect of e-commerce into our industry. One effect is going to be eventually, this is what I guess, will be peace level tracking because we don't do that in e-commerce is much easier, obviously. In our case, our cargo is quite different. But if we can achieve to track cargo on a piece level, it will all obviously going to be a game changer and it will increase utilization in all sorts of levels, like in sales, operations, anything. So it will be much, it will have huge impact in the industry. So I think if that comes, that will come because of e-commerce. Thank you, Osman, for this conversation. Thank you. Thank you for having me.